Renaissance architecture reflected the rebirth of classical culture. It originated in Florence, Italy in the early 14th century and lasted until the 16th century. The origin of Renaissance architecture was developed because of the work of two men, Filippo Brunelleschi and Leon Alberti. Filarete, a famous author who later became an architect and a city planner, wrote a book describing his passion and the need of urgency for changing up the current architectural style from the barbaric medieval style to something more organized, intellectual, and artistic. Early on in the Renaissance era, the Duke of Urbino wanted his palace to be perfectly planned out. Luciano Lorana and Alberti both designed out the Ducal Palace to have series of columns and pilasters on the outside of the building and within for the large arcades in the center of the palace. The Roman order of columns are Tuscan, Doric, Ionic, Corinthian, and Composite. The Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian were the original classical orders before Renaissance architecture. These three orders were taken into the design of the Renaissance structures, plus adding two more to the list, Tuscan and Composite. Considered to be a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture was the Pazzi Chapel, designed by Brunelski and constructed in 1442. While looking grand with the large arches and pillars in the front of the building, the main attraction of the building is the dome seen from the interior. Floor plans of Renaissance buildings are square and symmetrical. The interior and exterior walls of Renaissance buildings are embellished with classical motifs such as columns, pilasters, pediments, blind arches, the classical figure, cherub, rosette, scroll, cartouche, and geometric pattern. The Ospedale degli Innocenti was constructed in several phases, starting in 1419 and finally opened in 1445. It was a hospital for orphans. The design was based on classical Roman, Italian Romanesque, and late Gothic architecture. Corinthian columns have embellished this structure. Wide semi-circular arches let warmth and sunlight into the covered open area. The arches were inspired by the Baptistry of Florence Cathedral or by the Church of San Miniato El Monte, which are both Romanesque buildings. The Chateau de Valence was built by Jacques de Estampes in 1540. The building consists of Renaissance domes as well as the classical order, the Doric order on the first floor, the Ionic order on the second floor, and the Corinthian order on the third floor. The Pienza Cathedral is one of the best examples of Renaissance architecture. It's almost perfectly symmetrical with near equally spaced pilasters with three equal arches that continue to the interior of the building. Soon after the completion of the building, the foundation of it broke as it sits right next to a steep hillside. Though not built in the Renaissance era, the Baptistry in Florence, also known as the Baptistry of St. John, stands near the Florence Cathedral. It was built around year 1100 in the Romanesque style. This building is very influential for the master architects of the Renaissance era. Filippo Brunelleschi designed the crowning dome of the Florence Cathedral to complete the look of the building to the way it currently looks. His study of the Roman ruins allowed Brunelleschi to develop the dome according to his own design and methods in a way that seems to defy gravity. The design of the dome was a three-dimensional version of a catenary arch, which is the ideal curve for a design of something to support the weight of itself. Similar to the design of an old bridge with a keystone on top to lock the arch, or in this case, the dome together. The entire mass of stone overhangs a circular empty space of 350 feet wide and 300 feet high without the support of any columns, beams, or any other form of support from underneath or steel reinforcement from within. It's truly an amazing feat of architecture and engineering. 
The St. Peter's Basilica was the largest church ever built, until recently, but it's still considered one of the holiest sites by Christians. The floor plan is designed as a three-aisled Latin cross with a dome. The dome is directly above the high altar, which covers the shrine of St. Peter the Apostle. Originally built in 1294 by the great architect Arnolfo de Cambio, the Santa Croce in Florence is the burial place of some of the most illustrious Italians, such as Michelangelo and Galileo. Only recently in the 19th century, the facade is built designed to Renaissance style. Although buildings constructed in the Renaissance era were known to stand through the test of time, with some maintenance, back in October 2017, a wandering tourist was killed by a falling piece of masonry from 60 feet up the side of the Santa Croce. The basilica's floor plan was built in the shape of a T, taking after the Egyptian cross. The interior is divided into three naves, a chancel, and a transept, full of chapels. The walls of these chapels and the entire church was covered in frescoes. Giotto and his school turned the basilica into the Museum of Florentine Trecento Painting. These same artists designed the admirable stained glass windows. The facade of the building was unfinished for more than three centuries, displaying its Florentine limestone surface. The basilica was extremely damaged by the flood of 1966. You can still see the damage from the flood on the pillars and the walls. The water brought in mud, pollution, and heating oil. The damage to the building and significant artwork was severe, taking several decades to repair.